Hello and welcome back to Mortal Glory. If you'd like to check out the previous episode, there will be a link down below. If you'd like to check out the game, then there is also a link down below. Otherwise, let's get going. Let's play a new game right here. We're going to play on normal difficulty. My team name, I have no idea what it's going to be. The, uh, I have no idea. The Reformian Bear Tilts. There we go. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense, but we're going to go for it nevertheless. Hey there, I hear you're looking for a team to manage. I'll be your sponsor and that means I expect you to win. Simple enough, right? Funding all these losing teams is starting to get unprofitable, so I'm counting on you. Anyway, here's some gold to get you started. Use it wisely. Alright, so in the previous episode of Mortal Glory on my channel, we kind of came in at a sort of midway to late game point. And I thought to myself, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna make another video and it's going to be something from the start so you get an idea as to what actually happens in the in the early game and uh, we'll see what we can do here so here's the thing the first thing that you want to do is probably recruit some people right yeah you probably want to recruit some people and see what they're all about hmm that actually seems pretty cool i think i'm going to get this guy but he's kind of not so good in terms of it look at it he's got four hp that's just absolutely pointless in my opinion he's just going to die in one hit basically which is not going to be very good. But his ability right here, Potion of Fire, that's pretty cool. That's a cool, cool ability to use. Hmm, what else do we want to go for here? Javelin Throw, Potion of Acid. Hmm, that seems pretty nice. Okay, we're going to recruit her. And then we'll see if we can buy some stuff in the shop for her as well. Just, uh, just uh, you know, maybe like one thing to increase her. What is she good at? Physical damage is the thing that she's really good at. But maybe something that's actually going to give her... A little bit of defense as well. Yeah, maybe maybe something like this. Yeah, this seems like a really, really good thing to go for. So we're going to go for that. And that is going to hopefully improve her overall survivability. So let's go and fight the first, first round. And uh, I think we're going to take a pretty aggressive stance on things here. Of course, I do have this, which I can use. Boom, and you're dead. <laughs> that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Yeah, anyway. Every single time you achieve a victory, the gladiators that you have in the battle are going to gain some kind of skill. Obviously, those are the ones that are actually alive, because the ones that die, they don't get anything. So that is a bit of an issue. Otherwise, uh, let's take a look and see what we can get here. Swipe at an enemy with a lit torch, applies the burning debuff. What's this? Applies fleeting wisdom, increases wisdom by six. Uh, what's this? Applies the Exhausted debuff. Hmm. That actually seems pretty cool, but it is magic damage mostly. And it requires an unblocked horizontal or vertical path to the target. I'm thinking Torch Swipe at this point. Yeah, we're going to go for Torch Swipe because I'm not entirely sure if we're actually going to have the ability to recruit anyone that soon. Anyway, a stranger offers Manipa a sip of his fermented potion. You don't know what it contains. We could... <laughs> it's a 50-50. Yeah, I'm going to just say no, because I really don't want to risk it. 50-50 is way too much of a risk, in my opinion. And what else can we go for here? So I really don't have that much gold, as you can blatantly see. But we're going to teach her the Torch Swipe ability, and we're just going to go into the next round. We're up against two enemies this time around. So this is going to be another time when I'm actually being super aggressive against the opponent. And we'll see if I can maybe... Oh, look at that. They actually got first blood on me. That's not very nice of them. But there you go. She's dead. And now this guy is going to try and take us out. But that's absolutely fine because we have a really, really good chance of doing a lot of damage. So let's have a look. Seven damage. We could just attack. How much attack do we actually have? Mm, we could do 12 damage. Not entirely sure. Mm, we could move away. How much How much AP does this guy actually have? He has four, by the looks of things. And we have three, so there's basically no point. So I might as well just attack him. Let's just attack him with this. He dodged it. Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, what about the Potion of Acid? Let's use that. He dodged that as well. Are you serious? Crazy. What a crazy guy. Okay, so we're going to just start moving away now. I'm going to use my javelin, and boom, he's down. There we go. Fantastic. That was actually working out pretty nicely right there. And we did gain plus one vitality and 58 gold, which is really nice. And now we get the opportunity to choose a new reward. I'm going to go for the gladius because that actually gives us a little bit more 
damage, I think. You come across a slender goblin selling lottery tickets. Riches await. Buy a ticket now to win the grand prize of 1,200 gold coins. All right, so I can either buy a ticket, which is going to give me a 5% chance to win the 1,200 gold coins. Shall we do it? <laughs> it's, it's extremely unlikely for us to actually get anything from this. So I'm actually going to walk away. I would love to be able to do that, but I think my best chance of actually surviving in this is to not do those kinds of things. And I think I'm actually going to recruit someone else here. I guess the only thing I can do is recruit Rolf, or I can go to the shop and buy something else to increase the chances of our one gladiator actually surviving in the match. So I'm thinking there's not many things really on sale here. Pressure coils not really going to help me out that much. But I do have a gladiator, a gladius, which is going to give us a little bit of extra physical damage and dodge chance. And I think I'm actually going to buy the robe because dodge chance, that's pretty good. So I think I'm going to take that. And now we got 32 gold. Now we are up against two of these guys. Ooh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This vampire is going to be hard to take out. Don't know whether you saw that, but they have really good gear. This might be problematic, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll try it. And I'm just going to pass to the next turn. They're going to have to come this way. Thankfully, their AP is not very good. Although, should I say thankfully? Mm, not really, because now they're going to take even longer to get over here. Mm, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. They're within range. Boom, first blood. Look at how much damage we were able to deal with that. Pretty amazing. Let's continue to move away. Because uh, we are now having a Chaos Curse on us, which has caused us to be forgetful, which is not exactly great. There we go. It took a little bit of piercing damage. We're now feeling exhausted, unfortunately. Let's use a little bit of extra damage on that guy. He's now on fire, which is fantastic. And I'm going to continue. Oh, yeah. I can't actually move away that much because we are debuffed with exhausted, and that reduces max AP to 1. So I'm going to just attack. There we go. A little bit of extra damage there. And we're going to take quite a bit of damage here. Maybe? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, that was actually working out quite nicely for us. Going to move up one and then use our javelin on Rebecca. She's dead now. And let's use burning on him. And he's dead. All right. So we're really leveling our Undine up so incredibly massively right now, which is actually going to pay off quite nicely in the end. But she is, of course, not the highest tier of Gladiator. So you're not going to get a, a great deal out of her in the long run. But uh, initially, she's going to be really powerful for us. Walking late at night, you hear footsteps behind you. As you turn around, you are met with a person looking exactly like you. The stranger is offering an ominous-looking book to you. You sense great power. Great, but somehow twisted, emanating from the book. And we will... <laughs> we will lose luck. Minus 25 luck. Do we want to do that? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. The stranger smiles as you accept the book and vanishes into thin air. Luck decreased. Effects. Event. Success chances. Now, here's the thing. Do I really mind about that? We just gained the Book of Azathoth, which gives us plus 40 HP, plus 80 MP, and plus 2 max AP. That is absolutely insane it is absolutely insane right and i might be able to i could can i sell this actually how much can i sell this for that's it can i sell this i can sell it for 200 gold right so if i didn't want to use it which i think is a mistake but if i didn't want to use it then i could go and buy this which gives me magic damage dodge chance etc etc but i'm not really a magic user so i i guess i could buy the short sword uh, I could buy any of these things, so on and so forth. But I don't think we're going to do that. So I think I'm just going to swap out the ring. And I think we're I think we're pretty good. The only thing I would like to do is maybe swap out the robe. The dodge chance is really good, but I don't have enough for basically anything else. Could swap out the gladiator, a gladius for something. Maybe maybe the long sword. Uh, I don't really want to do that either. What about critical chance? Critical chance might actually be good. So we'll just equip the curved dagger instead and we'll just save the money. I could recruit someone, but I don't have enough gold for that either. So we'll continue onward. Now, there are a couple of things that the emperor might desire as you progress in the game. And as this guy says, 
uh, as, as he says right now, move a friendly unit six times within one turn. I think I can actually do that now because I have that additional book and I might have six AP. No, I have five AP. Oh well, never mind. But we now have this soul drain ability. Drain an enemy's soul essence to heal yourself equal to the damage dealt. It pierces 100% of the enemy's magic defense, which is exactly the reason why we love it. And uh, I'm going to move one more ahead and then use this to get the first blood. Boom. That gives you plus 20% additional damage as well. So it's very, very important for us to do that. Now bear in mind that my character is so incredibly powerful right here that I should... Can I kill this? I'm not entirely sure how much... Uh, it's magic plus zero. My magic is currently quite high, actually. I have 13 wisdom, so I could technically turn myself into kind of like a spellcaster. So we're going to do that. There we go. Claire is now down. And uh, we are in a fantastic position. It seems like my character right now is very powerful. And uh, I'm not sure whether we just made a deal with the devil or some kind of demon. But uh, I'm happy with that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, critical hit. Are you serious? A critical? That's not very nice. Okay, this, this might be problematic. Oh, yeah. That was problematic. You come across a pool filled with an unknown shimmering liquid. Minipe wants to take a dive in it. We have a 35% chance. No, okay, no, we're not going to do that. Jumping into an unknown liquid is too big of a risk. And you won't let Minipe's frown change your mind. Okay, so this is what happens after you lose a particular battle. You gain injury counters. And you can see here, after each fight, all, all units heal one injury counter if they didn't receive new injuries. Any unit that reaches 10 injury counters will die permanently. We currently have two. Bear in mind that also injured units start fights with 10% less HP for each injury counter. So I currently have two, and that means I have 20% less HP when I start the fight. I do have 124 gold, so I could technically recruit someone else, which I think might actually be an idea, but these are both absolutely terrible, and I could sell some things to maybe recruit an additional person. I would like to get maybe the Minotaur. Mm, might be nice, might be nice. Let's see if I can maybe sell some. I don't really want to sell anything, that's the main issue, because if I sell some stuff, it's going to make things... Well, I guess I could sell this, but it's got magic defense, vitality, agility, knockback chance. It's got some really good stuff. So, 38 gold. Is that enough to actually recruit the guy? No, it's not. So, basically pointless. So, I guess the, the one thing that I could do is try and get a better weapon of some kind. So, maybe the... Oh, I can't even get the great mace, really. That's terrible. What about magic damage? No, that's also kind of awful. Oh my, oh, this, is, this is not going well for me, <laughs> this is not going well, maybe I can go for, yeah, I can go for this, yeah, that seems pretty nice, okay, let's go for this, there we go, okay, so we're going to be up against three people once again, fast match, finish the fight by turn six, knock an enemy unit back three tiles or more, alright, well, let's see if we can do it, and we got to I think what I've got to do really is try and rely on my javelin throw much more. As you can see, look at my javelin throw. It's just such an insane ability. It does so much damage. It's really, really good. And uh, it does physical plus five. And it pierces 50% of the enemy armor, which is so crazy. And damage is increased by 10% for each tile between the user and the target, which is even better. So that definitely does make a difference. I think what we're going to do now is we will try to swing around... Because we have increased mobility. We're going to try and kill the uh, the Dryad. Actually, no, not the Dryad. We're going to try and kill the Undine a little bit quickly here. So let's see if I can do that. Uh, that was not good. Yeah. we may, Maybe? No, no, no. That's not really working out too well. We're taking quite a bit of damage here, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move really far away, and then my javelin is going to come back off cooldown, and then I'll be able to kill one relatively quickly, I think. Let's do this. Boom. Dead. Yes. See? That's what I mean. Oh, insolent fools, you have violated my demands. Now suffer the consequences. Oh, great. So we got punished, because we didn't do his demand, which is not very good. 
but uh, I couldn't really do anything about it, could I? So, actually, you know what? Let's move away. Let's move really far away. Hopefully, she will not be able to cast on us. Let's move really, really far. There we go. Because we need to survive, otherwise we're going to gain more injury counters, and it's going to be really bad. So, the longer that I can kind of draw this out, the better. And hopefully, yeah, there we go. Boom. Look at that damage. 37 damage. So crazy. So crazy. Really nice. Okay, so I've got to be careful here. I really don't want to be in a situation where I'm up against the wall either because knockbacks and knock knockback effects can really cause a massive amount of damage. All right, let's continue moving. There we go. I know this is kind of a cheap tactic, but it is a one versus three. Go on, finish it. Oh, well, yes, I'm, I'm attempting to do so. We're at turn 15 right now. So this might be a little bit problematic. Boom. Dead. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we gained 98 gold, and uh, she gained some strength as well. And yeah, we're actually gaining someone. Nice. We're actually gaining an additional uh, gladiator right here, which is really going to help us out. So I am going to take... Mm, this guy's really fast. But he doesn't have... I mean, he, he, ah, he's okay. He's okay. Uh, what about this? Versatile shock, fleeting strength increases strength to yourself, applies a random debuff on the enemy target. That seems pretty nice. We'll go for the fiendling, I think. That seems like a pretty fun one. A local butcher runs over to Manipe. What a fine specimen. I request just a piece of your flesh, please. I will, of course, pay uh, 30 gold for one injury. Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Back to the boring stuff, then. The butcher mutters to himself. Mm, good, good. Yes, stay away from us. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're just going to give our new gladiator all of the old stuff that uh, we're not using. And maybe we'll buy something if we can. I don't think I have enough, actually, to be able to do that. And she is a strength-based character by the looks of things. So I'd like to get her some additional... Uh, I, I guess we could get this, 9 physical damage. That gives us more wisdom, though, which I don't really want. Nothing really that gives strength, unfortunately. There's a lot of a lot of problematic things there, but... Oh, well, I, I guess that will be fine. I guess that's okay. Manipe has 3 damage counters, unfortunately. Hmm. I think it's going to be okay. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, so have a friendly unit drop down to... Oh, one to three HP. Are you serious? Wow, that's kind of crazy. Okay, so oh, this is going to be kind of fun because all of the enemies are actually kind of low tier. And I think we should have a pretty easy time of things. So, boom, javelin dead. Yeah, the javelin is just absolutely crazy good. So we'll try and utilize that as much as we can. And let's try and move over here. Can I do some damage? Yes, I can. Nice. And we might be able to move over here. Eh, yep, there we go. We can do some. A little bit of extra damage. Random debuff. Never mind. Dead. <laughs> that was a nice critical hit as well. Very nice. Okay. Boom. Ah, I was hopeful that we would kill her immediately, but no. There we are. Nice. Yeah, so there you go. Nice. We are. We are we're getting better. We're getting better, you know? 120 gold, wisdom to both of us, and we actually do gain some additional members for our team. Very nice. Okay, uh, I'm, ki I'm kind of leaning towards the Whisperer at the moment, because they seem to have slightly better armor than most, and slightly better vitality than most, because you can see here the Gnome literally has 3 vitality. It's, it's 12 HP. It's just going to die really, really fast. Uh, the Undine has some decent vitality, but we already have one of those, so I'm going to go for the Whisperer, I think. And we have reached a new tournament level as well, which is actually very nice. And Manipe has earned a new title, plus three agility. I didn't expect you to make it even this far, to be honest. A welcome surprise. Keep it up. 200 gold received as well. A scrawny beggar in torn clothes lies on the street, asking you for gold. Give gold. Yep. Praises your generosity. Yeah, unfortunately, we were 5% chance for that, and I tend to try and... If I can, I tend to try and always do that if there's a positive outcome of some kind. I think that really, really helps. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. So, uh, what is the Whisperer really, really good at? Well, 
Not much, but melee, I suppose. Melee is going to be the thing that we will want to try and give. Ooh, this is nice. We're going to buy this and give this to our new character, the Fiendling. Yeah, she's going to be really good with that. And otherwise, what else do we want to do? Mm, I have 173. I could buy a... I could recruit a new person. Or I could just buy this. And probably this as well. Plus one armor, plus four vitality. Dodge chance, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, oh, not enough gold. Not enough gold. Ah, unfortunate, unfortunate. Oh, well, that's fine, that's fine. We can just put that there. I'm actually just going to sell this because I'm never going to use it, I don't think. So there we go. All right, so Minipe only has two damage counters now, which is really nice. And you can see here that uh, we have also gained the Devious perk. I'm not entirely sure what that means. But uh, you can also train people here as well if you want to. Uh, I, th I believe I mentioned that in the uh, previous episode. But if you want to, you can do that. If you want to make them get better vitality or anything like that. Anyway, this is a three versus four. Ooh, there is an epic level vampire on the enemy's side. Doesn't have much HP, but is going to be using life drain. Crimson Snap seems like a very powerful ability. Yeah, that's going to be kind of harsh to deal with. But hopefully I'll be able to use my amazing javelin skills to pay the bills. Oh yes, let's see if we can do that. Uh, yep, there we go. Boom. Ah, almost dead, almost dead. Okay, so we'll see if we can maybe do something about that. Hmm... Move up like so. Do I have enough? S oh, I don't have enough range. I don't have enough range for this. Okay, we'll just move there. And then we can use Chaotic Curse as well. Or, uh, yeah, Chaos Curse. Next turn. Ah, oh, I'm just out of range. That's terrible. Okay, don't kill any of my guys, please. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so I could technically go up here, kill the vampire, and then... There we go. And then we'll see what happens. Hopefully we won't get killed. Okay, dirty stab. Mm, we could go for this instead, which uh, doesn't do that much. So I think I'm going to go for dirty stab. Boom. Ah, dodged. Great. All right, let's do this. Feeling lethargic. And let's attack. Oh, there's a dodge as well. Okay, so Manipa is taking a lot of damage right now. I uh, kind of want to take out one of these guys, but I don't want Manipa to die because she's our strongest, basically. So I'm just going to move away, try and drain a little bit. Wow, this one has massive amounts of dodge chance. What is actually going on there with this? Wow, I, I'm kind of surprised that they're, they're dodging so much, but okay. Uh, otherwise, let's just do some damage. If they hadn't dodged this much, I would probably be in a really good position right now. Okay, uh, I'm gonna... Hmm, they have range. They have a lot of range. I'm actually just gonna move all the way over there. And we'll see what we can do. Maybe a... Should I just attack? Or should I go for Versatile Shock? I think I'll go for Versatile Shock. We'll try and kill the Werewolf. As soon as possible. Let's debuff the other one. Because they have much more HP. Let's move away. Because we are very low in our own HP. And I think Izenia will be okay. At least I hope so. Let's just wait there. Dirty Stab should have enough to kill this guy. Ah, oh, one. One HP left. Oh, no. That is bad. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we'll just go up here and uh, just hold position. Maybe we'll get a little bit of a distraction. Yeah, there we go. Nice distraction. Now, we could tend... Uh, there's just one HP. That is just not good enough. Uh, one more, one more. Okay, let's take him out. And then we'll do this. Nice dodge, nice dodge. That's exactly what we needed. Boom, nice knockback as well, very good. Okay, so we can now go like this. And a javelin throw, boom, dead. 70 damage from a critical, nice. And everyone is alive, as you can see. Plus one wisdom, strength, wisdom. We gain 155 gold, and we also gain some cool stuff. Okay, so... What do we actually need? Well, mm, we need a better weapon, I guess. Physical damage, knockback chance, debuff resistance seems pretty good. So I think I'm going to go for the spiked mace. 
an opportunity opens up for Manipe to attend a demanding training camp. It's great practice, but can get very intensive. Plus three injury. I don't really want to do that, to be honest, because she's already pretty much injured, so we're not going to do that. I mean, she's got one injury counter remaining, but I think it's probably a good idea to just kind of stay away from that stuff, at least for the moment. And we're going to be buying a chest piece for Misha. There we go. That's a little bit better. Massive amounts of agility right there. Maybe we want to buy something that actually uh, does something a little bit different. Because she only has one, uh, one ability. So what about Crimson Shock? Reduce their defenses, applies the vulnerable debuff. That seems pretty good. That reduces, uh, that reduces armor. Torch Swipe is actually really good too, in my opinion. So we're going to buy that. And we'll teach Misha that. There we go. That seems pretty good to me. And, oh yeah, the mace. The mace. Hmm. Eight physical damage. Yeah, that's just much better. So we'll just do that. There we go. 52 HP, 48, 80. All right. That seems pretty good to me. So we're only, we've only got seven gold. But we are at now the sort of mid-stage of the tournament. So we'll see what we can do. I'm going to leave my main character around about here. Because they're not going to be able to reach me, I don't think. Yeah, as you can see, they're not being able to reach me just yet. They're kind of close, but not close enough. Okay, I, I'm just trying to prevent them. Ah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm trying to prevent them from getting first blood. That's basically the one thing that I want to try and do. Boom. Ah, resisted. That's unfortunate. Okay, yeah. So if, if we can prevent them from getting first blood, we'll be in a good position because first blood is really, really good for de dealing massive amounts of front load damage initially. So we're going to do that on this guy. Boom. And look at how much damage he took. 91. And, ah, yeah. We actually uh, didn't do the thing that the Emperor wanted, but that's okay. We're fine. We're still okay. Uh, we can, we've got a range of two here. I think I'm just going to wait. Okay. Uh, Delia is really kind of harsh. Ooh, resisted the harmful effect. That's unfortunate. Mm, uh, yeah, how much do we have here? We've got 13 strength. Yeah, but we're much more of a magic user at the moment which is kind of unfortunate but i guess we'll just try and yeah there we go so she's burning she's going to take an additional 10 damage which is really nice let's do a dirty stab on this guy and now he's feeling forgetful so that means he as far as i'm aware he can't use abilities that much okay so she's dead from the burning which is really good uh or at least knocked out seven damage we could go Mm. Uh, let's just go into melee. Boom. That was a nice amount of damage right there. 25 damage. And let's just try and deal even more here. There we go. All right. Yep. Yeah, think we're fine. Nice. Nice. Done. Yeah, that was really, really easy in comparison to the previous one. Wow, that was really good. 178 gold. We gained some stats. And now we also gain an additional person. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. So who are we going to take? Well, to me, it seems like this one is probably the best, even though they have, I mean, they all have really low vitality, but this one's probably the best because of the armor and also the potion of fire ability, as well as javelin throw is just so, so powerful. Careless shove is actually really good too, because if you shove people into the wall, that can actually deal a lot of damage. So, uh, yeah, you know what? Shall we? Yeah, I think Potion of Fire is just so much fun to use. So I'm going to take this one. A gloomy beggar lies on top of a makeshift bed made out of bones asking you for gold. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's do it. Ah, uh, 5% chance. I, I'm not going to get that lucky, am I? Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so this is pretty good. So we can give this, this one a little bit of extra stuff. Uh, strength, actually, would be quite nice. But this seems to be more of a spell caster. So it might make sense for us to give her a magic damage thing of some kind. But this would give her more HP, which would actually be quite nice. 
But do I want to do that? That's the point. <laughs> do I actually want to do that? Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I mean, she's got 52 HP right now. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? We can always replace it at some point in the future. That seems pretty nice. So we've got a pretty nice start going on here. We're kind of uh, midway through the first first tournament run. And uh, if you'd like to see more, by all means, let me know. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.